my uncle, my mother's brother. Mm -hmm. And he was in the first war and he was, uh, the second war he was invalided out. He, he was, uh, he was in the big battles. He was in the Navy. He was uh, on uh, mine disposals in the first war. He was in the battle in the, uh, the big sea battles, the, the Battle of uh, Heligoland was the Battle of Heligoland, and uh, they were given the job of trying to rescue a German mine, or, or obtain a German mine, so that the British Navy uh, chiefs could take it to pieces and see how it was made. Now they got this mine on board the boat. I don't know, it's off the, uh, off the east coast of England somewhere, but they got this mine on board the boat, and they, they had it they had it on board, and it was, he was taking the, the fuse out of it, or whatever it was. Anyway, the thing blew up, and there were seven of his mates all killed, and he was, why, I don't know, but he, he survived, and it affected him for the rest of his life that his mates were all killed. He said, you know, he was really, he really, really got to him, it really did. But uh, when he was home on holiday, on, on leave, there was a mine washed up at the point of air, Nobody knew what to do about it. And there was no Manx radio in those days. But the governor put a word out to anybody who knew what to do with it. He went down and he defused it on the shore at the point of air. And that's the kind of fellow he was. He wouldn't, he wouldn't think twice about his own safety. He would go and get on with the job.